So why is this happening? Well, it's the high altitude winds of the jet stream again. The jet has plunged south, allowing Arctic air to drop into the gap. The frigid air is pushed east by high pressure in the west, which is responsible for a historic drought in California. That's why the nation's high was 81 degrees in Camarillo, California, and the low, negative 32 in Crane Lake, Minnesota. Eric Fisher is chief meteorologist at our CBS station in Boston, WBZ. And Eric, how do things look right now? Well, Scott, the snow is coming down fast and furious. It started earlier on this afternoon. It will stack up quickly. Snowfall rates at one to two inches per hour. We are not alone here in southeastern Massachusetts. Take a look at some significant snow totals anywhere from here in southern New England down through New York City. Many seeing six to 12 inches of snow there, four to eight down to D.C., their biggest snowstorm in several years. I have to go back to January 2011 to see a two inch snowstorm in the city itself along the mall and snow extending all the way down into North Carolina with this one, Scott. And what do you expect? is coming next. Uh, the cold is the big story. We go forward through the rest of this month and the start of February. Even just tomorrow, we've got sub-zero highs across the upper Midwest, teens as far south as Tennessee. And then the pattern for the rest of this month, this is going to be one that's stuck for a long time. The jet stream carving out that big trough in the central and eastern United States, an extended period of temperatures 10 to 30 degrees below average. And Scott, going along with that cold, we could be in for an awfully stormy pattern as well. And when do you think we're going to see relief from the cold? You want me to say springtime? Uh, it'll be a while, certainly. The mild air stays in the west. It might be early to mid-February before we get another big break. Springtime is a safe bet. Eric Fisher of WBC. Eric, thank you very much.